My name's Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video on how to reduce the pressure in your combi boiler. So if you have a look at your pressure gauge and there's too much pressure in your boiler, we're going to take a look at that, show you how to, the, uh, how to reduce the pressure in the boiler and also just go through some of the causes of why, why you may have too much pressure. So first of all, we'll look at the filling loop underneath the boiler and we'll see if that's been left open. So let's have a look at that now. When we look at this, we can see this side is open. So that means this here, that, that should be closed like that, if you can see. And then that one there is closed as well. If they were both open, then they'd be like that. And then your pressure gauge would continue, continually just go up all the time. So after you have filled the boiler, so normally we would only fill it to about one when the boiler is turned off and the boiler is cold. So if you've done it to one, always make sure you turn these back off under there. I'm now going to go through a few different ways of how you can reduce the pressure. And then I'm going to go through, if, it's, if it happens again, then what other um, problems you may have. So on this one, we've got a filter just underneath the boiler. And by just undoing the filter under here, this will take the water out of the system or take some of the water out of the system and that will lower the pressure. So I'll show you that now. So you can see this pressure gauge is still up there near two and a half. And then if we just open this here, and we start to let some water come out. We can see pressure gauge. We can see pressure gauge goes back down. If you've taken a lot of water out like that and that pressure gauge is still stuck up there, then it may be you've got a faulty pressure gauge. So what I'll do now is I'll just top this back up a little bit and then what we'll do, we'll I'll show you some other, some other ways that if you haven't got a filter that you can do. So again, I'm just gonna over pressurize it And then now what we'll do is we'll go to a radiator. Doing it from a radiator can take quite a, quite a lot longer. But what you do, just bleed it, get a jug or something to put under there. And then And then just like drain into your into your jug. You might need a cloth underneath as well because it, it'll probably drip. And just be careful not to undo it too much with this key. If you if you undo that out too much, sometimes that can actually shoot out, and then you'll be in a right mess. Then doing it this way might take quite a while because you're only taking a right little bit of water out at a time. So what you'll have to do is do this and then close it and then go back to your boiler and check. You can always put more pressure back in if you need to. Um, so we're gonna have a look at the boiler again now. When we look at the boiler, the pressure's gone down a little bit, but as you can see, if you're gonna do it from a radiator, that's going to take it's going to take quite a, quite a while you could also undo one of the nuts underneath if you've got somewhere where you could undo one of the nuts and you could let some water come out a bit 
but obviously you'd have to be really careful with that. Also, it may be that you've got a drain off valve somewhere on your system, and if you have, you could just put a, a jug underneath and then just undo your drain off part of it. Obviously that would be on your system like that. So that's another way that you can um, take the pressure out of the system. If you've managed to get your pressure back down to one, then what you need to do now is when the system's cold, you want the pressure to be at one bar, just round about one bar. And then when you heat the system up, so you've checked all valves and everything's turned off underneath, it's at one bar, system's cold, and then you put your heating on, and this pressure gauge, it'll start to go up, but you only want it to go, you only want it to go up a little bit. If it starts going back up to over two or near three bar again, then that would indicate you've got a problem with the expansion vessel inside the boiler. And it may be that it needs servicing, it just needs the expansion vessel pumping up. It may be that you need a new expansion vessel, but more than likely it'll just need pumping up. Um, it could also be that the expansion vessel is undersized for the size of the system that you've got. So if you've got a really large house, then expansion vessels in boilers are, are only normally seven, eight, nine liters. So they're not, they're not really designed for big, massive houses. So it could be that you need a, an additional expansion vessel. So that's just a few of the different, um, the different issues that you could have. Also, if you find that the pressure gauge is going down, so it just continually drops, then it may be that you've got um, the PRV could be passing. And what that is, is normally you would have a little copper pipe and it stick outside in your house, outside of your house. And if you see that there's water dripping out of that, again, um, you, need to call a, you need to call a gas engineer out for that. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I've sort of covered, I've covered that really. If you've got any questions at all, if you ask them, in the comments below and, and I'll try and respond to them and if um, if I need to I'll do another video and if that if that helps thanks very much thanks for watching